Welcome back. Another two World Cup contenders are preparing to head home from Brazil this Friday after the a quarterfinal heartbreak. France, considered a dark horse coming into the tournament, fell 1-0 to Germany. And then there were the tears for Colombia star striker James Rodriguez, his team beaten 2-1 by the host, Brazil. And the first match of the day was played in Rio de Janeiro, where we find our two correspondents there on the ground who have been helping us throughout the tournament. Lucrecia Franco is in Rio. Joel Richards is in Copacabana Beach. Joel, we're going to start with you because, well, Brazil is celebrating, but there is also a fairly big loss as well. What do we know so far? Well, good evening, Phil. And as you said, the celebrations very much marked now by the news that's just come through in the last few moments that Neymar, the star striker, is ruled out of the rest of the tournament. He picked up a, an injury to his third vertebra in his back. It's, it's fractured, so obviously several weeks rest and uh, recovery for him. Uh, this is the star player for Brazil. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so dreadful news for the player. For the, for, the, for the coach, Luis Scolari, uh, for the country, and also, of course, when we look at the, the economy of the World Cup, also for his sponsor, Nike, um, Neymar Somar really driving Brazil forward, driving them through to this quarter-final, and now they'll have to make, make do without their number one player. Joel, there's also reports that uh, Luis Suarez will sign for Barcelona for more than $100 million, and I guess the question is, you know, there's some controversy to this, but is it a good investment for them, given that he can't play for the first part of the new season after that uh, fighting incident? That's right. Well, of course, it's a, it's a major risk. It goes without saying. Um, it remains to be seen whether or not uh, he has to uh, play out this, this four-month ban or not. Obviously, there's an appeal taking place, but uh, what, there's no denying here that Luis Suarez, while he's one of the most talented players and one of the most talented strikers, in football um, is also one of the most controversial. When he was in, <clears throat> when he was at Liverpool in, in England, he missed nearly a season through uh, through suspension. And obviously, if, if this deal with Barcelona goes through, uh, then Barcelona, uh, uh, certainly as things stand, are looking at paying him around about four million dollars in wages for him to wait to make his debut. So of course it's a risk, but clearly, uh, if Barcelona are willing to spend that much money on him, then they feel it's worth taking. All right. Uh Obviously, quite a bit of noise there behind. I want to ask you, uh, we have a little time here. France and Germany, that was a very big game. Of course, there's some folks here in the office cheering for both sides. Uh, a bit of a heartbreaker there if you're a France fan, but Germans obviously very happy. Yeah, well, that's right. Um, Germany, the side that really expected to go uh, certainly the whole way, certainly to reach the semi-finals as they have done. So, so the German side very much went in as, as favourites for this game. France, let's remember, are one of the heavyweights of European football, but at the same time coming off a dismal 2010 uh, World Cup campaign when there was infighting in the squad and so the new coach Didier Deschamps has had to really renovate this side so it's very young very inexperienced and perhaps ultimately that's what we saw today they were unable uh, just to have that final a little extra just to push uh, Germany <clears throat> excuse me a Germany aside though that, that did improve and as expected as we said uh, have made it through to the semi-final and another just quick uh, point, uh, point if I may on, on, on Germany it's the top selling shirt for Adidas obviously for, for, the, for their sponsors uh, they're very happy with that as well. Joel Richards from Copacabana Beach um, as for our viewers a very active scene behind you there on the Friday night thank you very much for your coverage.